627, time now for back roads. As you know, it's been said that dynamite comes in small packages. Occasionally, you'll hear someone say, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Well, on the back roads near Trout, Louisiana, Lewis Redden has discovered a couple of characters named Darby and Bacon. And together, they do form quite the formidable pair. Similar to a fable, he's as small as Tom Thumb. He is a champion, York of Hoover. And the big heavy pig is as sluggish as old Gulliver. She's actually a big sow, which we call bacon. Though it travels with adventure, it's not a tall tale. But the factual little small dog running side by side with the big dogs. This is Darby. He's a Yorkshire Terrier. These dogs were bred for vermin mice and as badgers. They went and got colds and, and run out the, the vermin and all of that stuff. We raise and train and breed Catahoulas. And I decided that what we needed to do was to teach this Yorkshire Terrier to be a hog like a Catahoula. Therefore, we have the only Yorkahoula. And he will be a hog just like a Catahoula. He actually will work a hog, not just bark at it. He'll work one. We've even placed with him two or three times in field trials. Hold her, Biggie. Hold her. There you go. See how she's moving and he's trying to stop her? Now talk to her. If the real truth be told, she's the bravest of all. Who yanks up green grass and then babies wild hogs. You can see the teeth on that big rascal. She's trainer Renee Jackson with great champion cur dogs. But then there's little Darby, who's a vicious for a ball. That's why we don't put Darby in there with him, because you see those tusks, they have one little dab and they could really hurt that little fella. This trophy was won in Marthaville, Louisiana. Darby tied for second place. Because of the heat and the, all of his hair and fuzz, we didn't want to put him through a bay-off, so we took third place. But I'm confident he would have won it in the bay-off. He almost ran a coon in her house. Darby seems cute and cuddly with his sandy blonde hair with a squirt of perfume and a ribbon if you dare. But a ten-gallon hat atop the top who walks tall. The John Wayne York of Hula for the hog dog who's small. I took Darby to the pampered pooch palace when his fuzz got a little thick to have him cut and pampered and done and I wouldn't let him put bells and stuff so they put a little cute little bandana. We drove up in the backyard and I opened the door. He immediately ran out and ran down here and got the pigs out of the hog walla and decided to take him another mud bath. We get him cut but we do most of our bathing now because I'm not going to pay $25 for a dog to go into the hog walla. <laughs> Yeah, they perfumed him well, but it didn't last very long, did it, Darby? With trainer Renee Jackson and her pin of champion cur dogs, along with little Darby, who was read and reporting from Trout. Back Roads has been brought to you.